What's up guys, this is Tampa Tech. I'm gonna show you how to solder and unsolder using these portable soldering irons. And I'm gonna show you how to replace a surface mounted IC chip on a circuit board like this one. So right here I have the Isotip portable battery operated soldering iron. Heats up to 900 degrees, ready to solder under 10 seconds. The 7700 soldering iron goes for around $50. The 7700 is equivalent to a 40 watt electric solder iron. This right here is the updated butane portable soldering iron. And right here I have my old butane soldering iron. Now I'm basically showing you this one and comparing it what kind of, um, and showing you what kind of upgrades this new butane soldering iron has over this old butane soldering iron. And I already did a review on this a few months prior, the um, battery operated soldering iron. But once again, I'm gonna be comparing it to this new portable butane soldering iron. All right, so let's go ahead and get started. I'm gonna start off with the old one right here and I'm gonna kickstart it. Let's go ahead and turn it on. To turn it on, you just move this lever to the side and you hear the butane leaking out. And then you wanna use this flint, which is also the cap. And you wanna start it. And once it works, it works good, but to get it started is a pain in the ass. And see that blue flame? That really isn't, you have to light all sides. That's another annoying thing about this. I mean, I had this for a couple years, but there it goes. So once all the sides are lit and you have the blue flame, you're gonna have to wait until it turns orange. The flame has to settle before you use it. Or else if you use it with the blue flame shooting out from the sides, you're gonna scorch the board. And besides, all the heat is not being applied to the tip. All the heat is escaping from the sides. So you have to wait until it turns orange. Just to show you, see, it's not ready to solder yet. So let's wait until that turns orange. And I'm gonna show you this new updated butane soldering iron. The Pro 90 goes for around $40. Great deal for the kit. The Solder Pro is equivalent to an 80 watt electric solder iron. And it's a lot safer to use. I remove the cap right here, slide the switch over, and then one click, it's on. And look, there's no blue flame shooting up from the sides. It's already, the flame is settled. Look at that, it's amazing. Look, that's still heating up by the way. And this one also has a kickstand. Really nice. I like to leave the kickstand on so if, when I'm soldering, I don't scorch the board. It's kind of like a reminder. And here's the reservoir. This is where you fill it up. And you get 55 minutes of usage on the reservoir butane instead of 30 minutes. So almost twice as much time on a single use. Pretty amazing. And that's if you have it on middle setting. And let's go ahead and solder our ground point which is one of the bigger solder joints on this board. And I'm using this kickstand to, you know, so I don't have it touching the board, so I don't scorch the board. Now when you use butane soldering irons, you're gonna have to hold it more vertically than horizontally because you don't wanna scorch the board. That's the only difference. I'm using a butane soldering iron compared to electric or a battery operated soldering iron. Look at that, how amazing. That heats up so fast super quick and then you could turn it off let's go ahead and turn it off heats up under 10 seconds this one is almost done you can see that blue flame right there it's still it's not ready yet i wouldn't use it because you're going to scorch the board because that blue flame is shooting up from the sides this is a junk board by the way <laughs> it's not a customer's board don't worry Look, see, I just burned. This is, see, this is the reason why. See what I just did there? Because I used it too early. Look what happened. So you cannot use this when the blue flame is shooting out from the side. You have to wait until it's an orange. There it goes, finally. Sometimes you have to adjust this left and right. Not only that it's safer to use, it heats up faster, the reservoir is twice as big and it'll last twice as long on a single use. It's also easier to hold and it comes in a case with additional tips, a sponge, and solder. 
for only $20 more. This is the portable battery operated soldering iron. Um, it fully charges about four hours on this charging dock. It comes with two tips, which are very easy to change. You just pin, um, push down right here and you can remove it just like that. Push down again and just slide that in. And it comes with a point tip. And it comes with a slanted tip right here. Just like that. I use this one all the time. It's so much easier to use. And if you have children, you can put it in the lock position so they can't use it. Or if you could throw it in your um, toolbox, you don't have to worry about it turning on by accident and melting your toolbox. So you just flip it up to use and then press that button. When you press the button, that's when it's on. When you release the button, it's off. Uh, when you press that button, you see that light is really bright. That means it's fully charged. Now, if, it, if you see a dim light, that means you need to put it back on the charging dock. And you get a partial charge in about one hour. And on a full charge, you expect to get around like 15, 20 minutes. All right, so let's go ahead and I'm gonna unsolder this one right here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And this one should be ready to solder now. Yeah, see? Heats up, heats up in a, under 10 seconds. And because it's uh, equivalent to a 40 watt soldering iron, it may take a little bit longer to heat up the pin, the solder joint. So now let's go ahead and cover it up. And I'm using a solder sucker. And that's pretty clean. It does a really clean job. Look at that. One shot. And then let's solder. And you want to solder the pin and the joint. And then apply the solder to the joint, not the solder tip. Not the soldering iron. You want to apply the solder to the joint. Look at that. Works great. For smaller solder joints, this is awesome like removing capacitors removing like medium to small capacitors this is amazing very lightweight heavy duty reliable but this guy right here this guy works on heavy duty solder joints like big capacitors um, if you have a heat sink you have to remove i would use this one now it has a sponge right here you just clean the tip after you wet the sponge which is really convenient i love that they included that um, right here is the heat blower. That's if you want to remove uh, IC chip from the board or replace one. Let's actually use that one right now. All right, so you want to use pliers or something replacing the tip, especially when it's really hot. And let's go ahead and shake that out. Shake it off. And let's go ahead and put the heat blower on. Drop that in just like that. And I'm, just, I'm gonna use the pliers to screw it on because I don't want to burn the crap out of my fingers. There we go. And let's go ahead and twist that on. Now it does have a hot knife and a cone soldering iron tip that we just replaced and a chisel tip. So there's the chisel tip right there, you know, and a hot knife. And a hot knife, I guess they use a hot knife for cutting synthetic material. I mean, I don't use this. All right, so watch how fast this heats up. It's amazing. One click, it's, well, first you have to slide the trigger on. Oh, let me go ahead and show you how to like charge it. So I get this can of butane, uh, Jetline, it's a good brand, for about under 10 bucks. And you just shake it up a little bit and turn it upside down and just press down, press the can down. Hold this firmly in your hand and then press down on the can and it'll transfer the butane to the reservoir. And that'll last you about 55 minutes on middle setting. Let's go ahead and do that. When it starts spitting out, that's when you stop. And now it's ready to use. So one click trick. First, you have to turn it on. It's a one-click trick. There you go, and it's on. And under 
10 seconds, it's ready to use. I'm gonna use some metal tweezers. These are my wife's, wife's tweezers because I can't find my professional tweezers anywhere in the house. My, I think my son took them. So let's go ahead and heat this up and then under 10 seconds, you can remove it. Only thing you have to do is grab the top and bottom of the IC, hold it steady, and then slightly lift up. You don't wanna tear it up because you're gonna rip the traces off the board. Just let the heat blower do its job. And about less than 10 seconds. I'm like maybe an inch away. Look at that. How amazing is that? This is such a great tool. Now I could turn it off, saving my butane. Use my other soldering iron to clean the surface right here. All right, so I'm gonna use some flux right here. Flux cleans the surface from oxide, which helps bond the solder to the solder pads. Use my desoldering wire, clean up these solder pads right here. Wait about 10 seconds for it to heat up. And desoldering wire basically just absorbs the solder from the board using flux and wire. You can make your own desoldering wire using speaker wire and dipping it into flux. Add some fresh solder. There we go. I'm gonna line up the dot on the IC chip, which is pin one, to the arrow on pin one on the solder pad right here, that little white indicator right there. Pin one is next to the notch on the chip, also a dimple on the chip, as well as a marker on the solder pad on the board. And let's go ahead and turn this on. In the middle setting, one click, 10 seconds, ready to use. There you go. So my two favorite portable soldering irons are the Butane Isotip Solder Pro 90 and the 7700 battery operated soldering iron is great for smaller jobs. So if you guys are interested in any of these soldering irons I shown in the video, just click on the links in the video description below. And if this video was informative, give me a big thumbs up and subscribe to Tampa Tech for more how-to videos and tech reviews like this one. And click on the share button below and share this video to anyone this video may help. Thanks guys for watching.